Right now, it's been two years since the deadly insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, how this dark day in democracy is being remembered, and what's next in the, into the investigation into how it all started. Also, the latest on the Buffalo Bill safety, DeMar Hamlin's recovery, and what the NFL is planning to do about the postponed Monday night football game. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for joining us. Lawmakers are pausing to remember a dark day in U.S. history. It was two years ago today that a mob of rioters staged a deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol. As a result of the events, the lives of five officers were lost. 140 officers were seriously injured that day. Deborah Alferon has the latest from Capitol Hill. Members of Congress gathered to mark the second year since the U.S. Capitol insurrection. Holy God, you have anointed this land. There were prayers and words of gratitude to the men and women who defended democracy on that day. We will never forget their sacrifice, and we will never forget this day. It was January 6, 2021, that a mob of mostly President Trump supporters stormed the Capitol. The rioters overpowered police from several agencies as they climbed walls, smashed windows, and attacked officers. Some of those police officers are receiving the Presidential Citizens Medal today. President Biden will also recognize election workers who became targets of harassment and local officials who affirmed the results of the election. There were few arrests on January 6, but the FBI moved fast, seizing cell phone records and compiling thousands of hours of video in what may be the most documented crime in U.S. history. At least 950 people have been charged so far, nearly half of whom have either pleaded guilty or been convicted. These people are not going to take it any longer. Former President Trump could also face charges after an 18-month probe. The U.S. House January 6 committee referred him to the Justice Department for prosecution, alleging he incited the insurrection. Trump denies any wrongdoing and has already launched his campaign to run for president in 20. 2024. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Let's head out to the weather patio now. Kelly Slifka has the latest weather, maybe some sunshine this weekend. Yeah, it looks like this uh, weekend we'll definitely see quite a bit of sunshine. Uh, today we're going to struggle. We've had some uh, low clouds and fog that developed up to our north, and we're kind of trapped in this low-level moisture. We're hoping that the uh, sun will be strong enough to work on it, but, well, we'll hope for it anyway later this afternoon. Right now we're sitting in the uh, 20s, a little bit cooler than it's been with this northwest flow. It's been really chilly off to our west. They had some freezing f fog in parts of Minnesota, and that low-level moisture is uh, headed our way, and that's why we've been stuck in, under underneath some of these low clouds, but uh, we are expecting some of these to break up. They are breaking up in northern Wisconsin, so it'll be kind of a slow process from northwest to southeast of seeing some of the sun breaking through the clouds as we uh, get into late afternoon hours, but I think before the sun goes down, we will at least uh, brighten the skies a little bit. Right now, we're in the uh, 20s uh, where they have had that clearing overnight. It's only in the teens up there in Camp Douglas and Black River Falls, so it's a little cooler out here today, hoping that these uh, clouds break up at least a little bit later this afternoon and temperatures in the 20s. It's going to be a chilly night tonight, but as mentioned, we do have some sun in our forecast this weekend. Maybe you want to wash the car, get all that salt off your vehicle, because we don't have a whole lot of rain in our forecast in the next 10 days, and we'll take a look at that milder forecast headed into a next week as well. Coming up. All right, Kelly, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. After a long delay, the former Badger football player charged in a double homicide is due back in court today. Marcus Randall L. is scheduled to appear in Rock County Court today for his final pre-trial hearing hearing. Prosecutors say he shot and killed two women in Janesville and left them for dead near the interstate. His trial scheduled for January 17th through the 27th. Sun Prairie Police are investigating the reports of shots fired this morning. They responded to the area of Vandenberg Street near West Andrews Drive after the initial call around midnight. Several casings were recovered in the area. Officials say no one was injured and there's no threat to the public. Anyone with information asked to call the Sun Prairie Police. Officials in western Wisconsin are searching for a 50-year-old Toma woman. Felicia Wana was last seen December 29th in the Warrens area. Wana is 5'4", has brown eyes and straight shoulder-length brown hair. She also has multiple tattoos, a pierced left ear, a mole on her right cheek, and wears glasses and contact lenses. Anyone with information asked to call the local Ho-Chunk Nation Police Department. 
The man suspected of murdering four University of Idaho students in November appeared in an Idaho courtroom for the first time yesterday. Casey Jordan, a criminologist with no connection to the case, believes the evidence against Brian Koberger is overwhelming, citing stunning new details in an affidavit from an interview with the surviving roommate, Dylan Mortensen. She told investigators she saw a man she did not recognize wearing black clothes and a mask. Mortensen says she stood frozen as the man walked, her, walked by her to the back door. She then went into her room and locked the door. The affidavit did not explain why police weren't called to the scene until noon, about eight hours later. I really do believe that the evidence is so strong already before the investigation is complete. He's going to have an uphill climb to try to be found not guilty. Koberger will remain in jail without bond and will be back in court next week to enter a plea. Well, there's more encouraging news from the University of Cincinnati Medical Center today. The Buffalo Bills say safety DeMar ha Hamlin is breathing on his own and able to talk after having his breathing tube removed overnight. He FaceTimed with the team this morning saying to players and coaches, love you boys. The 24-year-old went into cardiac arrest on the football field Monday but was quickly resuscitated with CPR and defibrillation. He was taken by ambulance where he was intubated. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook talked about challenges with his lungs. He has a condition called ARDS, Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, where you have inflammation in the lungs mm. following an event like this. Last night, the NFL said the matchup between the Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals that was suspended after Hamlin collapsed would not be rescheduled. The NFL plans to hold a special league meeting today among all the teams to finalize a tentative playoff schedule. Knowing what to do when someone goes into cardiac arrest could mean the difference between life and death. But CPR can double or even triple a person's odds of survival. If you suspect someone is having cardiac arrest, cardiologist Dr. Tara Narula says first, make sure the scene is safe. Then call 911 and start hands-only CPR. Place your palms on the person's chest, depressing it by about two inches. Do this at a rate of about 100 to 100 beats per minute. If you have access to an automated external defibrillator or AED, the box has simple steps on how to use it. Don't be afraid to give hands-only CPR. Don't be afraid to okay. use the defibrillator. Yeah. You can save a life. Hands-on only CPR for babies is different. Press down on the chest with two fingers instead of your palm. More stunning revelations overnight from Prince Harry's autobiography. The book was supposed to come out next week, but it was prematurely put on sale in Spain yesterday. The tell-all memoir details personal and sometimes painful accounts of growing up in the royal family and what eventually drove the Prince and Meghan Markle to leave it all behind, as discussed in this Sunday's 60 Minutes interview with Anderson Cooper. What Meghan had to go through was, was similar in some part to what Kate and what Camilla went through. Very different circumstances. But then you add in the race element, which was what the press, British press jumped on straight away. I went into this incredibly naive. I had no idea the British press was so bigoted. Hell, I was probably bigoted you, you, before the relationship with, with Meghan. You think you were bigoted before the relationship with Meghan? I, I don't know. Put it this way, I didn't see what I now see. Spare, the book, goes on sale in the U.S. on Tuesday. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Jobless claims are falling. And tonight, you have a chance to win $940 million. Details coming up in the Money Watch Report. The Home Expo is coming to the Monona Terrace Convention Center this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Meet the Madison area's top builders, remodelers, and home improvement experts at the Home Expo. See the best in custom remodeling, room additions, roofing, and flooring at the Home Expo. Kitchens, bathrooms, windows, doors. If it can improve your home, you'll find it at the Home Expo. The Home Expo at the Monona Terrace Convention Center, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. And if you haven't tried Plexiderm, we've created the best offer yet with our New Year's Plexiderm 10-Minute Challenge. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under-eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. Even the 11 lines between your eyes are visibly gone in minutes. Plexiderm works so well that celebrities in Hollywood and people just like you feel years younger in minutes. This is why I'm letting people try it for only $14.95 this New 
New Year at plexidermtrial.com. So I've had under eye bags for a very long time and it sucks. I have spent so much money on tons of eye creams, eye gels. Finally, I tried something called Plexiderm. And I'm not joking, it works. When I do a collage and everything is done, it looks amazing. That is exactly how Plexiderm makes me feel. I put it on my face and somehow, some way, I look together, which is amazing. I'm Jackie, and I took the Plexiderm 10-minute challenge, and so should you. I'm Neela. I'm 61 years old. I'm a professional personal trainer. It's so important to be in good health and to be fit and take care of yourself. How it makes you feel inside is amazing. And yet, when you look in the mirror, what you see necessarily isn't what you feel inside. Plexiderm, seriously. Honest to God, it's amazing. There's nothing there. Like, the bags are gone. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell rock. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms, rapidly reducing the appearance of under eye bags and wrinkles in minutes. This new year is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. So if under eye bags make you look tired or feel older, take action this new year and see that younger looking you. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. In need of home repairs? From stairs and railings to roofing and plumbing, Habitat Dane County works alongside families to ensure safe, stable housing for years to come. Qualifications are based on income, need, and willingness to partner. Don't delay. Apply today. Labor Department report shows new jobless claims fell to 204,000 in the final week of 2022. That's the lowest number since September. But those numbers are not necessarily good news for the Federal Reserve, which raised interest rates seven times last year, hoping to actually slow job growth down, which could in turn help rein in high inflation. Bed Bath & Beyond is warning that the company has serious doubts about its future and may have to file for bankruptcy. The home goods chain, founded more than 50 years ago, announced plans last summer to lay off about 20% of its corporate employees and close around 150 stores. The company also owns children's retailer Bye Bye Baby. And tonight, lucky players will get another shot to win the Mega Millions jackpot, which now sits at $940 million. It's the fourth largest prize in Mega Millions history. The cash option for a winning ticket? Just under half a billion dollars. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to CBSMoneyWatch.com. In Washington, I'm Serena Marshall. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 524 points. The NASDAQ up 175. The S&P 500 up 62. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. You're taking a live look at the call for action studio. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can call for action right now at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Next at noon, Pam has today's ag prices. Kelly shares the weekend forecast. And then later, UW-Madison communication arts professor Jonathan Gray joins us on Live at 4 to discuss the latest in television and streaming. That's coming up at 4. It's your last chance to ring in the new year with a new appliance from Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to $700 on Frigidaire packages. Washer and dryer pairs start at $10.99. Over-the-range microwaves start at $2.29. At Furniture and Appliance Mart, inside Ashley off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. Wisconsin. It's easy to take for granted how we warm up. But what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. With my low energy, I can't even blow up this celebratory balloon. At Planet Fitness, there's hope. Now through January 12th, join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime, and turn your low energy into big fitness energy in 2023 in a clean and spacious, judgment-free zone with tons of equipment to get you energized. Low E, 
enough for me. Simply join through the free PF app for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. Deal ends Thursday, January 12th. Lake Ridge may be a new name, but it isn't a new bank. It's one built on over a century of community commitment. One equipped with all the knowledge and resources of 145 collective years of experience. Monona Bank and State Bank of Cross Plains are coming together as one. As Lake Ridge Bank, we're doing more together for you. It's your last chance to ring in the new year with new styles from Ashley. Right now, save up to 85% off furniture. Plus, take an additional 10% off when you spend $2,000 or more. And free platinum delivery, ending soon at Ashley. News 3 Now is taking action to keep you on top of the latest breaking news. Taking action whenever news breaks with a team committed to following developing stories so you'll know all the facts. Taking action for South Central Wisconsin. News 3 Now. News 3 Now's call for action team gets results. We're taking action for you. Nearly 700 cases closed, more than a half million dollars recovered, and we're not finished yet. When you need help, call for action only on News 3 Now. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. And let's check in now with Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report on this Friday. How are you? Not bad Friday. It's all right out there today, and it looks like it's going to be all right all weekend, which is good news. I got a bunch of friends that are going to be heading up towards Wisconsin Dells. It seems like county fair season may be uh, quite a distance off when you look outside, but for a lot of young people, they're already starting to think about the projects that they're going to be working on. The Wisconsin Fair Association's annual 2023 convention gets started officially on Monday morning. I'm going to be up there at the Chula Vista Resort in Wisconsin Dells, where we'll be recognizing the winners of our Everybody Has a Fair Story campaign. We work cooperatively with all the county fairs across the state and anybody that cared to participate. We had all kinds of great entries. Everybody from that first date experience, some folks got proposed to at the county fair. Just a really great bunch of stories. So we'll recognize the winners Monday up at Wisconsin Dells. Now as far as what else is happening in agribusiness, we're talking about uh, this weather situation. Not our situation in the, the Midwest necessarily, but boy oh boy you take a look at all that water that's been streaming through California. Let's not forget how many dairy operations are in California. Yes, they need water, but they don't need it in the volumes that have been coming through. I've been gathering reports uh, from other farm broadcasters as well as personal friends of mine that are out in California, and they said just trying to manage through this flooding situation, making sure that feed staying in place and in good condition it's going to be just another one of those challenges for the dairy producing side out in California. Our dairy product prices today, though, were we're very, very excited. We're looking at 2023 consumption trends from Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin. Rachel Kerr tells me that consumers are going to obviously be sensitive pocketbook-wise because they're now getting the bills from the Christmas holidays. They're also going to be, what did she say, conscientious consumers where they will look at labels more, packaging, how much packaging, uh, where did it come from? And that's a great story that Wisconsin Dairy has to tell every day of the year. Barrel cheese today up a half to finish the week. One 172 and a half 40 pound black cheese up seven and a half at 205 and a half double a butter up a quarter at 238 and a quarter per pound so yep that's the way we're heading into the weekend all kinds of optimism including this division playoff t-shirt from last year i'm trying to bring the trying to bring the mojo for sunday night off to be in wisconsin dells for the fair convention mark and you know that is anguish for me not being up at pambo you're not going to be at pambo Nope, can't do it. Can't do it. I got it. Someday I do have to work, you know. That's the bummer part about that house. I do have to still work. All right. Well, go pack. Go pack, please. Yep. All right. Thanks, Pat. Have a good weekend. You yep. too. In California, tens of thousands are without power after the state was slammed by its second major storm in less than a week. The deadly system brought damaging winds, heavy rains, and catastrophic flooding. Danya Backus has the latest. Overnight, giant waves slammed into Redondo Beach outside of L.A. The massive flooding it caused is now a familiar sight for many Californians as an atmospheric river storm system moves through the state. I could hear the rain hitting everything, and I could hear things uh, bouncing around my porch. This is the dramatic video of crews in nearby Ventura County rescuing a man from a rushing river. 
Areas further north, though, seem to have been hit even harder. A powerful storm surge tore through a historic pier in Capitola, south of San Jose. It had to take a huge hit to, to do something that, that damaging. Forceful winds have also toppled trees. One smashed into these first-time San Francisco homeowners' bedroom while they were inside with their two toddlers. We were sitting in the living room, and they just kind of like jumped into my lap when they heard the whoosh and the smash. Luckily, the family escaped unharmed. But in Sonoma County, a toddler was killed when a redwood tree fell on a mobile home. He loved playing outside. He loved to dance. He loved to sing. He was the happiest child, always smiling. Here in South San Francisco, high winds blew down the canopy at this gas station. Thankfully, forecasters are predicting dry conditions today, allowing the cleanup efforts to begin. The same storm system that has drenched the state in rainfall also dumped several feet of snow in the Sierra Nevada, where multiple travel and avalanche warnings have been issued. Donya Back is CBS News, San Francisco. Some wild weather out west. How's our weather looking, Kelly? Yeah, nothing like that. Uh, of course, that storm system slammed uh, the west coast yesterday and it's moving inland to the Rockies, but it's going to weaken, so it's not really going to affect us. What is affecting us right now are these low clouds. Unfortunately, sometimes we get these trapped uh, under what we call a temperature inversion and uh, hard to break it with the sun angle so low and we really don't have a whole lot of wind, but we're hoping that we get in a little bit of sunshine later this afternoon and it's a little bit cooler than it's been. We're on the backside of that storm system with that northwest wind. A colder night tonight. Definitely need to bundle up with temperatures falling in the teens, something we haven't seen for a, a little while anyway. Uh, it looks like a mild weekend, quiet. We are expecting some sunshine. We may run into a little bit of fog again uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, going into a Sunday morning. That may prevent a whole lot of sun on Sunday, but we'll have to wait and see how that develops. Right now, I want to show you the visible satellite. Now, this is taking a look at the, the uh, motion of the clouds, and you can see that they're basically moving from uh, northwest to uh, southeast across the area, and it's trapped underneath this area of high pressure. Some really dense fog developed over Minnesota, western Wisconsin overnight. Fro freezing fog as it was well below zero in some locations. And that fog is kind of trapped near the surface. It is starting to break up in some spots. It's just a very shallow layer of moisture. We're hoping uh, maybe enough wind or the sun at least tries to work on some of those low clouds and give us some sunshine. Right now we're sitting at 26, kind of holding at that level now the last couple of hours. Even colder up to the north with temperatures in the teens. Right now across Dane County, most of us in the uh, 20s, 26 here in Madison, as warm as 29 currently in Cottage Grove and also Stoughton. So we're looking at the weekend, we're counting on some sunshine, maybe you're going to have to search to find those sunglasses. We've only had one day this year, basically New Year's Day, it was the only day that we had any sun so far in 2023, but we're expecting that this weekend in mild temperatures. I want to take a look at the snow depth. Not a whole lot of snow up here or down here in the Madison area, southern Wisconsin. Basically, I have to go north of La Crosse uh, up toward uh, northwestern Wisconsin. Some locations have a couple of feet of snow on the ground. Going to be melting that, it looks like, over the uh, coming week, looking at above average temperatures really across much of the country. So the unusual mild weather pattern across the entire country is going to continue, and that'll be including us. Temperatures in the 30s and maybe even low 40s by next weekend. So we're looking at uh, the clouds slowly breaking up at least uh, at times from northwest to southeast. That'll set us up for clear skies tonight. We'll be chilly tomorrow morning. Some low clouds in the morning, then we'll expect some sun in the afternoon and temperatures climbing into, I think we'll be in the 30s tomorrow afternoon after a chilly start 37 on Sunday maybe want to get that car wash sometime this weekend with all that salt that we've been dealing with over the last week our next chance of rain really rain or snow will be next Thursday and Friday doesn't look like a big one for us but mild weather pattern continues into next weekend first part of January you can't beat that yeah this is this will take us in the middle of January by then all right we'll take it thanks Kelly sure there's more to come on news Three now at noon Howard's in the mr. food test kitchen where he wraps up his week of recipes that help us eat better with only 83 calories and all this creaminess, who needs to give up sweets? Not me. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. 
Do you have a coffee smile? Drinking coffee causes yellow teeth for thousands of people just like you. And whitening toothpaste just doesn't make those stains go away. Introducing Power Swabs, the first teeth whitening system that lifts coffee stains off your teeth in less than five minutes without whitening strips or trays. The Power Swabs were so easy to use. I don't have to have strips sitting on my face for an hour. I don't have to have a foam tray where I feel like I'm gonna gag or I'm gonna go play football. I've tried like every over-the-counter whitening because you know I'm one of those people that I'm like obsessed with white teeth. So with the strips I've used in the past, most of them are like you gotta leave it on for 30 minutes and the whole experience is just not comfortable. But with power swabs, I just snapped it open and rubbed it on and it was good to go. This didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab <laughs> and I just got a rub it on my teeth, and that was it. The secret is a tooth detergent and whitening agent developed by Dr. Martin Ginnicker that lifts stains off of your teeth. Power Swabs remove stains on natural teeth, veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. The best part is you just swab your teeth for five minutes and you'll have whiter teeth. No more sitting at home with a whitening strip or tray in your mouth for 30 minutes twice a day. When I used these whitening strips, I noticed when I would drink, I would get this crazy sensitivity. It would go right to my brain and I'm like, ah, I hate this. So why do I have to go through the monstrosity of this pain just because I want to whiten my teeth. With power swabs, there was zero sensitivity. Within the first day with the power swab, I noticed there was a difference. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's going to be wider. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. Whiten your teeth this new year by ordering power swabs and receive up to 50% off the regular price. Yes, 50% off the regular price. Shipping is free, plus you'll receive Receive a free quick stick pen. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brooks Night Guard. Now the Brooks Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. All this week, we've been looking at ways to eat better. One of the biggest challenges that many of us face is how to satisfy our sweet tooth while staying on track. If you're like me and try to totally cut sweets out of your diet, you'll probably end up cheating after a short while. A better option? Use moderation and cut back on sugar and fat as much as possible. Let me show you a to die for version of tiramisu that does just that. We start by lining the bottom of an eight inch square baking dish with lady fingers and drizzling them with some strong black coffee. On top of that goes a layer of sugar free instant vanilla pudding mixed with some fat free cream cheese and a little bit more coffee. More lady fingers go on top and we finish it with some fat-free whip topping and a dusting of cocoa powder. A few hours in the fridge and done. This recipe is actually from our friends at EverydayDiabeticRecipes.com. Yes, it still is decadent as traditional tiramisu, yet it only has 83 calories per piece and less than one gram of saturated fat. To get this recipe, as well as lots of other lighter ones, all you have to do is go to our website and type in lighter tiramisu. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a skinnier way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Here's Kelly with one final check of the forecast. Well, we still have the uh, low clouds across southern Wisconsin. They've been trying to break up uh, off to the north, and we're hoping for some of that to break through a little bit later on this afternoon. Right now, temperatures are in the uh, 20s, so a little bit cooler than it's been. At 30s, though, for the weekend, we are looking at a lot of sunshine. Get the car washed. Should be pretty nice this weekend. We'll be back here at 4 o'clock. Have a great day.